series of poker app strategy page and today we are going over some new strategies for these new tournaments you probably noticed that we've got these new tournaments now what's great about this is that there are some different options like for instance here now we have tournaments where you're going to be playing only against two other players which makes it really easy to win this kind of tournament i'm going to show you in real time how you can totally dominate in this three player tournament. We're gonna buy in here real quick. And our strategy is gonna be really simple for this three player tournament. Essentially what we're gonna do is we're going to try to knock out one of the two players immediately. And then after that, um, we're going to uh, just focus on the third player. So first we're just gonna focus on trying to get a good hand so we can go all in and knock out one of these two players. And I found that this works the best since you're only playing against two other people. If you can get one person's chips, then you can go head to head with them. And sometimes one of them will knock out the other one even before that happens. So let's see what happens here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so this is good enough. A king and a 10 is great. So we're gonna go, they'll probably fold, but watch. What we'll do is we'll just go all in here. And it looks like they probably got a good hand because they actually put in some extras. Let's see if they go in with us on this. Now, there's a good chance you could lose the hand too, but I mean, it's like a heads up 50-50. So what's funny is notice that they just folded. So you can steal a lot of blinds with this strategy too, because people will just fold because they don't want to go all in with you. So this is like a very high risk, high reward strategy, but it works really well. So watch carefully here. We're just going to go all in again. Let's see if this person goes in with us or if they fold. Look, they're folding. They're just giving up chips, which is hilarious because we won tons of chips. Now this hand's not very good, so we're just gonna fold there. But our goal is really to get one of these guys out quickly. Again, if you play too passive, then you'll find that you're gonna get knocked out yourself. So you can't play very passively because remember there is a timer and um, the blinds keep going up. So this hand is not the greatest to go all in with. So we're just gonna check and see what happens here unless Oh, look at this. They must have a really good hand. We'll just fold that hand. Oh, look at this. We would have had two jacks there, but they probably got like two kings or something. Let's see. They're probably going to go all in. See, they're really raising here. Let's see what happens. Well, hey, maybe one of these players is going to get knocked out, which is great for us um, because then we can just start going all in and taking away their chips. Look at that. They knocked out one of the players. First. So that's great. This is actually a good position to be in. Now that we're going head to head with the other player, what's good about it is that we're going to knock them out. And you notice that they're kind of timid because they're just folding. Now there's a chance that we too could lose because they obviously they've got more chips than us. But the reality is that what's going to end up happening, watch this, they're going to probably just check. Oh, maybe not. They must have something. So we'll just fold. Otherwise, I would have just raised right then and there. But our goal is this. We're going all in or folding for the most part. And that's to steal these blinds. Watch this. He'll just probably fold here. See what happens. See what I'm saying? So we're very quickly going to even up with the other person. Um, that's really bad. So we're just going to fold that ourselves. Here we go. We're going to go all in here for sure. And notice that we're just picking stuff up here. Let's see if they go in on it it's with us. Yep, they did. And it's a surprise because we both had the exact same hand, which is kind of funny. Huh, look at that. So this is where going head to head really matters. And you really have to like take chances here because you see how he just took a chance and we just lift that, that blind right off of him. Any ace that I get, I'm going all in as well. And this is really gonna put a lot of pressure on the opponent. There we go. We Now we've got a massive advantage over them. Notice how now they only have like 2 million chips. And so now at this point, we can almost slow play them if we wanted to. We have to be careful because we don't want to give them an opportunity to get back into the game. Let's see if he goes all in here. We'll just go in with him. Yeah, we'll just go in with him. That's fine. Here we go. Ooh, we got really lucky because he had a four. That was just blind luck. You can see you can really go back and forth in this. Again, we're just going to go all in here. We do have the advantage. We've got more chips. So you just have to continue this, continue to press this advantage as much as you can. 
Let's see. Notice they just fold because they're scared that we're going to go all in. And if their hand is not really good, then they might just fold it. So let's see here. We just checked here. I should probably call it, but I'm just going to give it to him because I just want to knock him out on the next hand that we go all in on. Wow, look at this. We're not really getting very good stuff here, are we? Let's see what we get here on this in the flop. Here, we'll go. We'll call the pot on this. Let's see if he if he goes in or he just folds. It's probably gonna fold. Probably doesn't have anything. Oh, look at this. That's great. And let's call the pot on this too while we're at it. There we go. And again, we're back in that same position where they've almost nothing compared to us. So we're just gonna call here. If he if he raises, we'll just raise two. This is a good chance to knock him out. Let's see if we got him out. Ooh, he got lucky there. But still, keep in mind, he's got very small amount of chips. We're just going to pressure him right out. We're going to pressure him right out here. Look, he's even folding before. And this is the strategy you're going to use. You're just going to continue to do this strategy. And this is going to knock him right out. Notice he just folds. Notice he's got, like, he's got no confidence. No confidence. Ooh, got really lucky there, huh? Got really lucky there. So, and this is what makes the game exciting is you got this head-to-head -head matchup that goes back and forth quite a bit until one person really gets knocked out, as you're going to see. And that's really what's going to happen here eventually is that somebody's going to get knocked out. And notice, again, he doesn't have a lot of confidence. He folds a lot of hands here. And, of course, here we are going all in on this and knock him out immediately. Get that knockout below. Oh, he had a straight. <laughs> so now he's got the advantage. But guess what? Do not worry. We still have a good opportunity here to come back. Really good opportunity. Let's see if he tries to knock us out on this. Yep, we'll go all in. That's fine. That is fine. Look at that. We got the straight. See, you have to put the pressure on them. Do not let up. Do not let up no matter what. Let's see if we can get him out. There we go. That is exactly how you win the three-person tournament. Not the way that I wanted to show you because my goal was to show you how to do this by, um, by knocking one of the persons out early. So I'm going to show you guys some examples of how you knock somebody out early. Um, and then after that, you just press home the advantage. But you noticed for the most part, I had a strong advantage. And the other guy really the whole time, I was just intimidating him and putting the pressure on him. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I hope this has been helpful to you, and I'll see you at the tables.